Hello everyone, this is Mr. L. Bronin here again, and today I'm very excited for this video. So, today we're not playing normal My Hero 1's Justice 2, today we're playing My Hero 1's Justice 2 Remix Edition. And um, if you don't know what that is, basically it's a PC mod that is less of a mod and more of the update that we've always wanted. It's added a ton of great changes, it's balanced out the game, it's made characters way more fun to play, changed the properties of a lot of moves to open up more combos to characters, um, I already said they make things more balanced, and they just change the properties, make it more fun, more smooth, and it's just a way better game with this. So huge, biggest props to um, Kuro and uh, Spa, Spa, I think, um, who are the, who created this. It is an amazing, amazing thing. And um, I will leave the uh, link to the Discord where you can download it and, you know, give some thanks to Kuro and what's the other guy? Yeah, Spa. Because um, they are absolutely amazing for doing something like this. They've, done, they've made a better patch and a better game than the developers ever could. <laughs> Which says something both about the developers, but it also says about how awesome these people are. So I'll leave the link to the Discord and I'll see if I can find some other links. But Kuro and Spa, you're amazing. Thank you so much, this is awesome. So today we're going to be talking about Mirio, and I'm not going to be um, covering too many things, like, about the character. Like, I'm not going to be breaking down Mirio. I'm just going to be mainly talking about what's different um, in this version of the game with Mirio, and how he's different from how he's normally played. So, um, there are quite a few changes, but what the main changes are is that he's more... Um, he has a lot more combo flexibility and he can get combos from a lot more things than he usually can. I'll just see if I can quickly get the patch notes up. But essentially the two big changes for Mirio are off of his Tilt Quirk 2 and his Tilt Quirk 1. And that is because those are both able to be meterlessly, oops, meterlessly comboed off of now. And as you can see, here, this has been zero dash cancels, and that all linked just because of how those have been changed. So after his tilt quirk 2, you can just press attacks now, and you can just get attacks without having to use a support or use a dash cancel or anything there. And also his tilt quirk 1, you can just get attacks afterwards, and it has a slightly longer, um, uh, even if the opponent's on recovery, they can't recover for a little bit longer just so you have a bit of a longer time to get the, um, the button off. Oops. Sometimes the timing- oh my god. <laughs> the timing can be a little bit awkward, but you kind of just like do it like very briefly after it hits. And you get to go in for your full Mirio combos. So, you might think that this is overpowered and that Mirios would be completely broken in this patch of the game. But they both buffed him and nerfed him. So they buffed in that, like, he gets really cool combos. But they're not actually that ridiculous combo. So now his bread and butter is something like this. Oops. So just basically what you normally do. Oh my god. <laughs> basically what you normally do, except no dash cancels. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's another change, but I'll get into that in a second. I don't know why I'm messing up this, it's usually not that hard. So, it does a bit more damage than it normally does. It usually is like 8,000 and like nearly 9,000, but now it's 9,400. And the main difference is that it doesn't cost a dash cancel. So he's not getting ridiculous damage now, and even off of this, even though he can combo off of it, which is really cool and I love you can get a combo, but you're not getting broken damage that like breaks the game, like it's actually quite tame. But it's just so fun being able to combo off of things, like in a more fluid way. Um, he can get a lot more damage with his bread and butter if I do something like this. Oops. You can add an extra yellow attack in there, and then it does about 11,000. Here, I'll quickly. Oop, lag spike. Boop, boop, boop. And that's like almost 12,000 for one dash cancel. And that was also a red attack at the start, that's why that did quite a bit of damage. So he's, he's getting pretty nice, beefy damage now. And I'm just gonna quickly have a look at the patch notes and read to you what they actually say, but a lot of the changes are just like small, minor changes. 
but they're good quality of life things. So his run speed and his dash speed are slightly slower. Um, not that you can really notice it. Um, the other big one that you may have seen I slightly teased a bit before is actually his attack string. Instead of doing that weird just dumb like plop them on the floor, it actually bounces them. So you can go into his other quirk buttons and it actually combos. And this actually gives him a way to combo um, into his tilt quirk 1 in the air. Because that actually works. He's on recovery and it actually works. Because they used to not be like... Oops. There used to not be a way to combo into that, because they can just recover. Like, you can not do your yellow attack, like, you can never go into it, even though it looks really cool. But now, even if you're really high in the air, you can combo into it, because he goes down into the ground and then uppercuts them. So that that's a really cool change, I love that. So now you can go into this. You can't actually combo off of it needlessly, because you've already done an air attack string. But... If you want to get an extension and you're really high in there, you can obviously dash cancel and then get something like that. So pretend like we're really high in the air from something, maybe I've done a combo or they've done a combo on me. I can get a combo off of that where I usually wouldn't be able to. And that's being a lot of damage if you get a combo like that. And yeah, it's really fun and I just love having like the different flexibility and being able to combo into uh, Tilt Quirk 1. It's really fun. Um, his... Alright, so his aerial target combo has slightly more scaling, that's because you can combo off of it. <clears throat> his own um, ground tilt attack does a bit less damage, but it also has less, what they call, um, FD. And, but basically what they're, um, what they refer to when they say something like that, is that his yellow attacks now don't really count towards his, um, meteor blow count. Because you know how, like... It, in his old combos, he used to be able to do like um, what like four of the four of his like his quirk two, um, uh, his still quirk one, his yellow attacks and his quirk two of things are all counted to his meteor blow. But now his yellow attacks don't really count towards that, and you can do actually like a few more things than you'll usually be able to. So if I do something like this, I can actually do another yellow attack in there, and that would have usually meteor blow. So you can get a little bit longer combos and add some extra yellow attacks in there and stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, his Quirk 1 is mostly the same, except it actually does less damage. So that's like half the damage, I believe. But what's good is it actually launches the opponent at a kind of higher angle. You're not really able to tell on the ground, but it usually just splats them inst instantly on the ground, so that's already a lot higher. But if, you do, if you've done something like this, they're a bit higher. But if you do something like, um, off of just like that, they actually get launched so high in the air, and it is a really good wall splat tool now. So basically off of any hit, if you're facing the wall at the right angle, you're going to be able to get a wall splat off of that if you um, hit the right angle. And that makes it especially easily easy in the air um, to get a wall splat with this, because it launches them high, like up high in the air so they're not going to miss the wall like they used to quite a lot. And yeah, wow, great combo, Mr. Alberta. <laughs> Let's just show, actually, I'll see if I can do this. It's gonna scale quite a bit, but uh, you know, just to show off the new stuff. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing a tilt quirk too, too like in your combos, because it does scale quite a lot afterwards. But it's really cool that you have that tool because it is a really good tool for him. Like if the opponent's guarding, because it's a command like red attack, you can like cancel it and so you can do some interesting yellow like mix-ups. So like they're waiting for the second part of the yellow attack. But then they get hit by that, and that's the works a surprising, like, a surprising amount of time online. Like, if you do your yellow attacks into that, people don't react to that, like, so many times. I probably got a 100% track record with that, because it hits so frequently. So yeah, it's really good that you can combo off of that. Um, this Tilt Quirk 1 has less scaling. And you can also combo off of it meterlessly. So the Tilquark one is his, um, this, his uppercut. It has less scaling, and you can also combo off of it meterlessly now. Uh, which, obviously, as I was talking about, is really awesome, because now we can actually get free combos. They do, like, really decent damage. Actually, I think that even did more damage than the other combos I was doing before, if I had with the yellow attack. Yeah, so it actually does a bit more damage if I, you just do this. Yeah, wow. Okay, that's cool. And that means you can also... Oh my goodness, wait, if I do something like this... 
Oops. That's gonna be a big chunk of damage. One dash cancel, 12,000. That's really awesome. Wow. Okay. But the way that they've nerfed this move is that um, they've made it a lot easier to punish. And I can't really demonstrate that here because I can't really control Bakugo. That would be kind of confusing for me to do. But basically, it has a lot less hit stun. So, like, once you block it, you can only. Oh, oops. Once you block it, Bakugo can, like, move, like, instantly. Like, it doesn't, like hold him in block stun like for any so like as soon as you block it you can just jump in the air and attack him and actually punish him because it used to be a really annoying move and like super hard to punish because like they can just attack and then and then you don't actually get the punish and you get punished for trying to punish it but now that whole dumb thing is gone and if you use this and you use it wrongly and they block it they people can actually consistently punish this which i think is really cool um yeah so the opponent can attack sooner the invincibility frames are basically slightly different, like in the air he's not invincible until he gets into the ground, and he's not invincible where he does the other thing. So just slightly different there. Um, yeah, that's about the same. Yeah, as I said, his tilt quirk too, which is like the red grab, it can be cancelled into attacks now, like for free. Um, but it has more scaling. Um, and does do, like, add to the meteor blow quite a bit. Um, yeah, 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 it has more hit slow to be more dramatic. It's unblockable, can be cancelled into anything, not that that really matters because you're going to be doing an attack out of it anyways. And um, his plus ultra 1 and his plus ultra 2 are basically just slightly changed so that they get scaled a bit more. But he is still a ridiculous character, so I'm going to show you some uh, combos now, we'll go into the combo segment of this video. And um, it's going to be mainly the same, except now it just is going to cost him less meter. So the bread and butter, as I showed before, with, our zero, with zero dash, actually it's going to be different because I just found that it's more damage if I do this. So no dash cancels, his bread and butter looks like this. Oops. Oops, oh my god. <laughs> but it's basically the same, except... <clears throat> Oh my god, oh my god, wait, okay, what's going on? What's going on? Whoa, hello! <laughs> so 9600, really good damage for no dash cancels, and obviously as I showed before, you can actually dash cancel at the end, that add a bit more damage after the top 2 string. And well, not a bit of damage, add a ton of damage. You're getting 12,200 damage then if you add a dash cancel to the end. So that's, those are very viable combos. And um, also, actually, I wonder if you can do something like this. Uh, wait, no. No, you can be too high in the air. Oh, that kind of works. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of cool. But it was about the same amount of damage anyways. But yeah. Um, and obviously his combos using supports are going to be about the same, so if I do something like this... And then into this, zero dash cancels, 13,600 damage. Okay, this is getting into slightly, maybe a bit ridiculous territory, but it's just a mod, it's not an actual release. So it's getting a little bit ridiculous if you use a support, like zero dash cancels, but... <laughs> 13,000 damage, like, that, that is a little bit crazy if you ask me. Oh god. And then if I added dash cancel to the end, it would have been a lot of damage. Let's see if we can time it better. Oh, okay, no. <laughs> that, that, that's pushing it too far if I add that extra yellow attack. No! Oh god, wait, okay, one more try. <laughs> Into this. Yellow attack. And dash cancel. Okay, yeah, no, there's, those are too many attacks, but still, I got, what, 13,600 before? That's a ton of damage for one dash cancel. And, um, you know, you can also use, um, ex use them if you, like, decide you want to extend your combo near the end. You can do something like this. 
Oops. But yeah, that's gonna be like, I don't know, 12,000 or something. Here. I'll see, I'll do it again. Oh. One, two, three. But yeah, that's gonna be about 12,000 damage. I wish I was better at doing combos on video. It's the recorder's curse. Rapa, oh my god. Oh, no, it was actually a lot of damage. So yeah, you can even extend it at the very end of the combo and still get a really decent amount of damage. 13,200 for one support, no dash cancels, that's pretty ridiculous. And obviously he has combos off of his, um, his, uh, this as well, his tilt core too. And they're just gonna be, like, the exact same. Because <laughs> he can combo off of it now. Oh, pretty good damage. I mean, it's not great damage, but it's a really good move, and that's pretty decent damage off of it. Especially since last time, like, in the regular- oh my god. What the hell was that? In the regular game, you'd have to do like two dash cancels in order to get like decent damage. But um, yeah, and he also has like, he still gets, um, he still, I, I would say, plays like the same as he usually does. Like you just have, you know, he's slightly different and your combos are gonna change. But because he plays the same, he actually plays his game a bit better because he doesn't have to do dash cancels in his combos now. So now you can get actually really decent damage combos. Um, without doing dash cancels, and I don't like doing dash cancels with Mirio anyway, because I feel like he's a character that really thrives um, from his plus ultras. So like, this plus ultra here, you can combo off of just like when you're near a wall, just by default, which is already ridiculous. Zero dash cancels, 16,300. 16, like, and this, this isn't even like remix stuff, this is just classic Mirio. So now, like, he's able to just get combos like these, like, a lot more, because he's not doing any dash cancels in his combos that are already doing a lot of damage. Like, that's a full-on... 9,600 9, is a proper, <laughs> proper good damage combo, and he's just getting them all the time. And also, not meaning to mention that, like... Oh, oops. Because the opponent isn't getting Meteor Blown at the end of this combo, you can kind of get some, like, resets off of their recovery if you, um... Time it right. Like that, see? And then get a lot of damage off of the, um, and just like a completely new combo because you catch their recovery, so that's really good. And, um, yeah, but he still has his, um, awesome plus ultra combos, as I was saying. And if you extend them, you can even do them with the support. This works with Nezure or Rafa. Zero dash cancels, 17,600 damage, just for doing a plus ultra combo. So yeah, he's a, he's a pretty crazy character right now, <laughs> but I kind of love it. So yeah, that was my breakdown of Mirio in Remix. He's a ridiculous character and he has way cooler combos, but he's also a lot- He has his like dumb things like this, is actually punishable now. And this does a bit less damage, you know, you can't cancel it like the weird ways, like by like blocking and then sidestepping. So. I don't know, he's a really fun character <laughs> in this version, and I'm excited to actually get um, games played with him, because I haven't actually played against anyone in Remix yet, so I'm excited to do that. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, this breakdown, and I hope you pick up Remix and like play with it, and big thanks to Kuro and uh, Spa for making it. Yep, hope you enjoyed, see you in the next one, <laughs> bye.